Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit about possession. I've gotten a, a lot of email um, asking about uh, possession and I guess uh, many of you heard me state that I feel possession is addiction. So I just want to get into that a little deeper today so you have a better, a clearer understanding of what I know it to be. Okay, spirit energy does not have the ability to jump into our bodies. Um, they're not in control of us in any way. We are always in control, okay? They don't have the ability nor the desire to jump into our bodies. Again, if you understand um, and believe as I do, embrace as I do, that only positive energy exists on the other side, you'll realize that, you know, it would serve them no, no, no purpose to, to want to jump into our body or take over our body in any way. Okay, now it makes good movies, certainly makes good movies, and um, it can make more money for mediums who want to claim that um, your loved ones can sp jump into their body and take over, you know, in the words they speak or directly from them. But if they're going to do this in, in a way that's pleasing to God, and in a truthful way, then they'll tell you that the proper way to connect to spirit is soul-to-soul -soul communication. The soul resides on the right side of the brain, and that's how I communicate to your loved ones, soul-to-soul -soul communication. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, so even in the here and now, we are connecting soul-to-soul. -soul. You know, they do have the medical technology to keep our bodies alive for a long time, keep our, our organs still functioning once the, the soul leaves the body. But life as we know it truly ceases to exist once the soul departs from the body, okay? So the physical body is nothing more than, than, um, than uh, uh, giving us the possibility, the soul, the possibility of, of living an earthly experience, okay? But the soul is the very thing that gives us life. Okay, so they really do not have the ability to jump into our bodies or the desire to do so. We are always in control all the time. Okay, possession is addiction. Possession does exist, but it comes in the form of addiction. Okay, drug addiction, alcoholism, um, pornography, anything that's harmful to yourselves that we allow to to um, become a part of our a part of our being is something that we choose to do. That's that's addiction, and that is possession. Uh, once a person becomes an alcoholic, a drug addict, um, you know, addicted to pornography, it's an addiction. Okay, addiction is possession. That is the way possession um, possession is. Uh, it is no other. There is no other way. Uh, again. The spirit, uh, anyone's spirit does not have the ability to jump into our body, nor the desire to do so, okay? So don't buy into this nonsense. Don't, you know, I tell people, don't watch those scary movies on TV. You know, some of them are, there was a movie that came out last year or the year before. I don't even want to say the name of it because I don't want to get sued and you never know. Uh, but it was, I, my phone was ringing off the hook from teenagers from a lot of uh, college, high school and college students that were calling me up. They were terrified after watching this movie, you know, and, and I would talk to as many as I could on the phone. I had groups here and I explained to them that it's just not possible. It's not true. It just makes money. These are all money, just like a curse. No such thing as a curse, but it's a money maker for the charlatans, for the fake psychics out there. So please don't buy into this nonsense, okay? We are always in control always in control. And that one true being that's that's the one who's in control over everything is God. No one else has that kind of power, okay? So don't give anyone in your life the power to make you believe that any of these things that are not credible are possible. God is always in control. We are in control for the, our own choices and decisions that we make while, our he, while we are here. And there is no such thing as possession. Possession is nothing more than addiction. And addiction is something that we have to allow into our lives, okay? So just uh, I just wanted to touch on that a little bit today because I had uh, so many questions about possession. I will, um, I have a few more broadcasts to do before I get into, I'm gonna do a session just answering as many questions as I can. I am getting a lot of questions. And as I stated to you um, 
a few weeks ago, my intention was that every day I would try to answer one of these questions, but sometimes the questions require me to get more in depth and I don't want to take time away from the actual subject or topic that I'll be talking about that day. So what I'm going to do is every once in a while, I'll just spend a broadcast just answering some of the questions that come in. Okay, so again, uh, the email to get in touch with me is voices that whisper at yahoo.com, voices that whisper at yahoo.com. The office number here is 570-619-4067. Um, and my, my website is grief medium. Uh, dot com, griefmedium.com. Okay, so I encourage your questions. I'm glad so many are tuning in. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback, and I thank you for that. I hope that these broadcasts make you feel a little better. I, the main goal is to remove all the myths and fears connected with this and, and hopefully bring you peace into your life. Okay, so uh, please find time uh, the rest of this very cold day. It was 17 degrees today when I woke up. It's now a balmy 27. So uh, still a little too cold for me today. I'm, I'm counting the days till spring and summer, and I hope you are too, okay? So take some time to meditate and pray. And as always, I leave you in God's love and light.